Let us quiet our hearts and our minds as we come before God and each other on this Palm Sunday. Today we're observing it as Passion Sunday. We have the passion to be at church. We have the passion to be people of God in the time when the world is not necessarily a nice place. I don't think I can. Just send a message. No, but, but you should talk, but I, I, I'll do it, but I... Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O oh God. Praise to the blessed and holy Spirit. us in the morning, we just As we enter into the contemplation of the passion of our Lord Jesus the Christ, 
and meditate on the salvation of the world through his sufferings, death, burial, and resurrection. Let us pray. Everlasting God, in your endless love for the human race, you send God Jesus Christ to take on our nature to suffer death on the cross. In your mercy, we I have no idea. Isaiah, 
the Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning, the Lord God wakens, wakens my ear to listen to those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beam. Yeah. Beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be, in sh be to shame. The one who vindicates me is near. You will contend with me. Let me stand, let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me, who will declare me guilty. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be Jesus. to God. A reading from Philippians. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, although being in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but relinquished it all, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness and being found in human form, he humbled himself and be obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also mightily exalted him and gave him the name that is above every na name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee, knee should bow in heaven and earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father, word of God, word of life. Thanks be to Thanks God. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> the Passion of Christ according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, o, o Lord. One of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I betray him to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver, and from that moment he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, where do you want us to make the to Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him, one after another, Surely not I, I, Lord. Lord. He answered, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Really not I, Rabbi. He replied, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Hey. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Um, the 
what's going on. Say, Lord, how many are my foes? How many there are who rise up rise against, up me. against me. me? How many, how many, many there are, are who you say to me, me. Your, God your God cannot, God help. cannot help, but, but you, you, O oh Lord, Lord are shield, shield, shield about, about me. You are, you are my glory, the one, the one who lifts up my head. My head. I, I call aloud to you, to you, you O oh Lord. Lord. And you answer, answer me, me from your, from your, from holy, your holy hill. hill. I, I do not fear the multitudes of people who set themselves against me all around. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Though all become deserters because of you, I will never desert you. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed. My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass for me, yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping, and he said to Peter, So, could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, he went away for the second time and prayed. My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests 
and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him. At once he came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi. And kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you are here to do. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. Suddenly, one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword, drew it, and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled, which say it must happen this way? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I were a bandit? Day after day I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place, so that the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples said to him, fled. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, in whose house the scribes and the elders had gathered. Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest, and going inside, he sat with the guards in order to see how this would end. Now the chief priests and the whole council were looking for false testimony against Jesus, so that they might put him to death, but they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last, two came forward and said, this, this fellow, fellow said, I am able to destroy the Lord. The high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I put you under oath before the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so, but I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has blasphemed. Why do we still need witnesses? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your verdict? They answered, He deserves death. Then they spat in his face and struck him, and some slapped him, saying, that struck you? Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, You also were with Jesus of the Galilean. But he denied it before all of them, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. When he went out to the porch, another servant girl saw him, and she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. This man was, man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly, Certainly you are also, also one of them. 
for your you. Thank you. Thank you. Then he began to curse and he swore an oath. I do not know the man. At that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he repented and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. He said, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. But they said, What is that to us? See it yourself. Throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priests, taking the pieces of silver, said, It is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since they are blood money. After conferring together, they used them to buy the potter's field as a place to bury foreigners. For this reason, that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. And they took the 40 pieces of silver, the price of the one on whom a price had been set on whom some of the people of Israel had set a price, and they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord commanded me. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But he gave them no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him. Have nothing to do with that innocent man, for today I have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the, the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus who is called the Messiah? All of them said, Let you him be crucified. Then he asked, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more. Let, Let him, him be crucified. crucified. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Then the people as a whole answered, his blood be upon us and upon our children. So he released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, oh, Hail, King, King of the Jews. Jews. 
They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means a place of the skull, they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head, they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Save yourself. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, He saved others. He He is the king king of of Israel. Israel. Let him him come come down down from the cross cross now, and we will believe believe in him. him. He trusts God. God. Let, Let God deliver him now. If he if wants, he wants to, to, or he says, I am God. The bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, and about three o'clock. Jesus cried with a loud voice. Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani? That is. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said. This man man is calling on on At once, one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, wait, let us see if Elijah will come to save him. 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 Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened 
and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, Truly this man was God's son.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness, for gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in your church, for all who have not yet heard that God comes down to us. Lord, in your mercy, might, merciful God of might, renew the weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern the nations of the world, for the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction, for the Church of Jesus, our Christ in every land, for healthcare workers, for first responders, for those to whom the hour of death draws near, Turning our hearts to God, who is gracious and merciful, we pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of mercy, awaken your church to new proclamations of your faithfulness. By your spirit, give us bold and joyful words to speak, that we sustain the weary with the message of your redemption. Hear us, O God. Your mercy, pray. God of mercy, quiet the earth where it trembles and shakes. Protect vulnerable ecosystems, threatened habitats, and endangered species. Prosper the work of scientists, engineers, and researchers who find ways to restore creation to health and wholeness. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, Your mercy is great. God of mercy, drive away fear and anger that cause us to turn against one another. Give courage to leaders who seek liberation for the oppressed. Bring peace and hope to those who are in prison and those who face execution. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, Your mercy is, great. is great. God of mercy, send your saving help to all who suffer abuse, insults, discrimination, or contempt. Heal the wounded. Comfort the dying. Bring peace to those suffering chronic or terminal illness. Tend to all who cry out for relief, especially Salvatore, Carol, Karen, Lois, Neuendorf family, Joseph. Rain, Linda, Alan, Kenny. Frank, Maria, Sal, Annie, Sally, Annie, Ken, Gladys, Gladys Catherine, Catherine, Marion, George, Barbara, Marie, Carol, Christine, Maria, Margaret.
Hear us, O God. God of mercy, we pray that all who will prepare and lead worship in this Holy Week, in all things, show us the ways that you call us to die to self and live for you, and to give up of ourselves for the sake of others. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. God of mercy, when we breathe our last, you raise us to eternal life. With all your witnesses in heaven and on earth, especially, let us boldly confess the name of Jesus the Christ, our resurrection and our hope. Hear us, O God. Your mercy, mercy is great. great. And who do we lift before God and one another this day? We lift before you Wilma, who is in St. Francis Hospital. We lift before you the people who are attending those who are suffering from COVID-19. We lift before you public safety officers. We lift before you those who are in trouble, those who have lost their jobs, those who are confused and separated and segregated, those who are in pain. We lift before you, O God, all who are your people and who have not yet heard your love and peace. Grant us, O Lord, your healing power. We especially ask this day where People do not understand the danger that this virus causes, that they would learn to separate themselves enough to heal and to be healed and to heal our communities and world. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Your mercy is great. According to your steadfast love, O oh God, hear these and all our prayers as we commend them to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 As we pray together. We give thanks to you, Father, through, through Jesus, Jesus Christ, 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 through dear Son. That, that you have protected us from all heart and danger. We ask that you will also protect us today from all evil. That our life and eggs may be in the future. And in the command of all cells, body, and soul, that is our own. Let your holy angels be with us that so that we have no power over us. Amen. 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 Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us in the words that are most comfortable to okay. us. Our Father, Give us to stay our day forever. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Kingdom, power, Amen. Amen.
on announcements. Uh, there is a, uh, there's, we'll be sending out an announcement. Well, there they are. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, uh, if you're on a Mac, all you need to do is do shift command in the number three and you'll do a screenshot. If you're on a Windows machine, I can't tell you what to do for that, but that that's on the Mac. It'll save you all that information. Um, there, uh, there are several things also that I uh, the the church synod is doing services also. Thursday, Thursday, Friday, then also, um, also on Easter Sunday. We're going to gather at Easter Sunday at nine o'clock for sort of conversation to lead us into the, the synodical Easter service on Sunday at ten. So it'll be at ten on Sunday with the Synod and we'll get that information out to everyone. Um, you also may have heard the announcements that I made in the prayers in that Wilma Jagish is in uh, St. Francis Hospital. I spoke to her this morning. Um, she sounded better than I did at that point, um, but she is, um, asking your prayers for her and her for her daughter and we'll see how things are going to go forward um i thank all of you who read and helped make a joyful noise and that's literally what we have to be about is we have to proclaim the love of god in any way we can do it and sometimes it's a noise and it was pretty cool. Um, I really appreciate all of your help. Are there any other um, are there any other announcements? Pastor Lemke, Masayo, uh, and a little bit from me have been working really hard on our Easter vigil. Um, if you can and will attend the services on Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, uh, Grace and Trinity, Long Island City. But again, our Easter Vigil is Saturday evening, um, 7.30 p.m. for the gathering. Uh, we will incorporate some of the old and some of the new from our vigil from last year and the year before. Is that correct, Ms. Io? Yes, i uh, putting some together. Uh, I have to work with Pastor Lemke, but uh, we found some material and uh, it, it's really amazing. <laughs> I actually documented and that kind of be able to use it, hopefully. So. Please, please, please remember us, 7.30 p.m. Um, that is for the Easter Vigil Saturday evening. Um, again, I always have to plug our congregation. Yeah, and also make sure uh, trying to attend the Monday Thursday hosted by Grace, and also Good Friday. There, there are the two services that will be uh, led by the Pastor Neil Holland at the Trinity Long Island City. And uh, it's, those are actually hosted by the Western Queens Conference. So uh, it's on the Facebook, they are all co-hosted. So we are expecting um, attendance to, um, to those the services too, so, right, Noise? <laughs> yes, yes, we have to support one another. I wanted to show everybody's face right now before we move on to uh, uh, the sending him. But one more thing, just one more thing. Can you hear me? Um, don't don't forget your electronic offering. Yes. Yes. Uh, you can you 
electronic offering is the best way to do it. Tithely, and it's tithe.ly if you haven't already. And that is actually a good, good resource for us to use. There are a couple of others that the church recommends, but that's the easiest one that's available. Thanks for reminding me of that, Doris. Yeah, and, and the easiest way to do it is to go to trainmiddlevillage.org and press the donate button. And it'll take you right to the link for our church. The bills sure. keep coming in. During Holy Week, are we still going to have the, um, are we going to have uh, the, at noon and fifth, for 12.15 to 12.45, are we still going to meet or? Monday, we Tuesday, going? Wednesday. Up to Wednesday, okay. Wednesday, yes. Okay. Uh, maybe on the Mount, Monday, Thursday too, because since there is nothing much going on during the lunchtime. If Messiah's there, we're praying. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be there, but uh, on Friday, I'm attending, most likely attending this like a trouble noon service at, at the uh, Trinity Long Island City's Zoom. So I won't be hosting, but besides that, we are all meeting up. So please come, uh, come out, <laughs> say hi to everybody, and then, you know, we chat about it, and then um, we pray together, right? And then uh, we have uh, some regulars here. Some of them come sometimes, so please come out and say hi. Yes. I just want to mention again, I, I spoke with Ani Schroeder. She's still in Dry Harbor. She sounds good, still has more therapy to do, but she's very <laughs> bored and can't wait to be home. But thank God she has no virus. As of Wednesday or Thursday, I spoke with her. It's good. Hi, Sally. I'm good. Okay, we're going to move on to the last sending him. Yep. Stay safe. Oh, Dorothy. Hi, Dorothy.
Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Go into the day and be the light of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. Amen. 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 Thank you all for joining us. Everybody stay well, please. Yes, everybody stay well, please. Yes, and you all. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a nice Sunday. Have a nice Bye. Bye, Dorothy. And I heard Dorothy's church. Thank you. Thank you, Bye, Mr. Thank you to the readers, especially. Thank you. Yes, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Oh, well, it was our pleasure. Yeah. I think we all did a good job. Yes. We're going to be nominated for the best internet performance. Right. <laughs> Get a mini Emmy. <laughs> or just maybe a major blessing. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. All. Bye. 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 Bye, we'll be ending the meeting right now. So see you soon, everybody. Bye-bye. Be safe. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.